Welcome back. This is Dan Havey with CF Ninja Hacks, and today we are going to take a look at hacking a Kajabi membership area. Now, most of these membership areas on all these other platforms, Kajabi, Thinkific, Teachable, Members Pro, anything in WordPress, they're all pretty much exactly the same. So here's what a lesson page would look like inside of Kajabi, but let me show you what the uh, what they call, I think in this case here, they call it the library, looks like inside of Kajabi. And then if we go into Thinkific, at least I'm pretty sure this is on Thinkific. Uh, let me just scroll down to the bottom, maybe it'll tell me, no. Uh, but this is on Click Academy and I had to sign in through my, I'm uh, not Thinkific, I'm sorry, Teachable. Um, I had to sign in through my Teachable account to get here. So I'm pretty sure this is built on Teachable. And so it's just got a series of boxes just like Kajabi, the more products you put in here, the more membership site products you put in here, the more boxes you would get. In this case here, this is Teachable, and so each one of these is a separate product. And then here is, uh, okay, this one here is Thinkific. I had that wrong before. And so here we got a, again, a class or a membership, however you want to call it, a course represented by this box. And again, you could have a series of them here. And the same thing with Members Pro. And then as you click on each one of these, it will bring you to either some sort of a dashboard page like this, or it'll bring you directly to the lesson page itself. And they all are pretty much the same. You got your left hand sidebar, you have your content on your right, and then you have a continue button to click so that the progress bar will increase every time you click on that uh, continue button as you close off each lesson. So let's then go back here to um, this one here. We'll click on resume the course. And I think a video autoplay, so I'll just stop that real quick. And so it takes us straight away to a lesson page. And again, we got our left-hand sidebar navigation. We have a continue or mark or mark incomplete or continue at the bottom. You click on continue. And again, it moves the uh, slider bar over here. And um, on Click Academy, let's just go into our Node.js training here. You got a whole list of all the videos. And we will click on start. But again, looks exactly like Kajabi does. And then we have our video, it'll start to play here in a second. And so here's the video and I can click again on complete and continue. And again, it will add to our percentage completion up here. And so now we are back to Kajabi. So we'll click on this and what they have in here, and there's a couple different things you can do inside of Kajabi is they set up a category page. I've seen in other places where people set up a dashboard. So you can have like a dashboard category and there's like a couple other things you can put in here. This specifically is the momentum theme in side of Kajabi. But um, the category thing here, the guys who want me to rebuild this for them, they didn't like this at all. So we're going to completely take that out. But you could easily put in inside of ClickFunnels, easily put in anything you wanted here. You could put in a dashboard page where you could have a welcome video. You could have you know, a sidebar over here with links and different stuff. I mean, so you can just have some imagination and you can put anything you want on a page like this prior to getting to the lesson page. Now again, in this case here, if we click on the categories page, then it brings us to another page, which is basically telling you all the lessons that are in this category, whereas the way they set it up is each category was actually represented by what we would call a section inside of ClickFunnels. So in this case here, let's just go to the very first video because this is really the only page that they wanted me to build out was this page right here. And even at that, there were some things on here that they didn't want anymore. They didn't need an MP3 player, so I didn't put that in the template. This eight minutes they didn't need. They didn't need the star or the continued button uh, because at this point here, we don't have it set up so you can show progress, but that will be coming in a, in a le later lesson. But they did want the arrows on here for the previous and next lessons. So let me show you what I set up for them and how it looks. And mine isn't exactly perfect because I didn't pretty it up and I don't have all the fancy names and everything in here. But if you click on mine, that's not mine. This one here is mine. And so I have the exact same thing. I have the left hand sidebar over here. On the right, I have a big, huge video content. I have a previous and next buttons on here and I have a download. So let's just take a look here. If I click on next, 
we will go to the next one and you'll see I'll be moving down the left hand side here as I continue to click on the arrows is going to go from the next lesson to the next lesson and keep going down and the same thing as we go back and you're going to see these other pages I built with those extra items in it and then they said no nah, we don't want them so here is my final template for it right here so it's pretty basic got some content down here at the bottom you, of course, can put in whatever you want because this is built right inside of the lesson editor inside of a ClickFunnels membership site. So you can put anything you want in here. You can put more videos in here. You can put text. You can put hyperlinks. You could put um, whatever elements are inside of ClickFunnels you can basically put in here easily. And then, of course, you can put in other elements if you're using like an HTML element. You could embed some code in here. You could do anything that you want or would do inside of a regular uh, ClickFunnels site. So um, also on this page here, a couple more things is on their original, when you clicked on drop down, this little box popped up and they wanted to be able to put a bunch of PDFs in there. So I built that in here for them as well. So you click on this and it'll open up this box. You can style this any way you want to style it and it will put their PDF so you could have links to other places. You could MP, MP3, MP4, whatever you want it could all go right in there as a hyperlink. And then on the left-hand sidebar, theirs did not have any accordions at all. If you click on these, it just opens up that section. And so they have a whole ton of content in here. And so it'd be really nice to be able to shrink this up and so we have the ability to have these sections open and close so that it doesn't take up the full page. And you can see here then, if you were to open them all up, we also have a scroll bar so we can scroll from the top to the bottom on here as well. And we can close them all up. And of course, you can put whatever content you want up here. You could put a big header across the top if that's what you wanted. You could put a header across just this side over here if you wanted. So you can pretty much stylize this thing any way you would inside of just your regular ClickFunnels membership area or any ClickFunnels page. Now, the last thing we have to show you is what does this look like on mobile? And I'm just going to grab it and shrink this down till we go to the mobile. Now, their mobile breakpoint, I think, is like 900 and something. I forget where theirs is, uh, but it's a little, little higher than uh, ClickFunnels is. But we'll show it to you here. So we got open and closing the left sidebar when you click on the little hamburger bun. And again, slides like this, scroll bar, the whole thing. So it's basically, you take the small site, shrink it down, and have everything slide left to right or the other way around. So let's uh, make this a little skinnier because I said the breakpoint on mobile is a little bit different between uh, the two platforms. But you can, of course, change that as well. So here we are now in the ClickFunnels version. Again, if we click on the previous next, you're going to see that we definitely, this will change from one to the next because I got two different lessons in here. The download still works. And then we can click on the hamburger bun. It'll open up the sidebar. We can open up all these sections and we can scroll up and down. And again, we do the exact same thing where we just essentially just slide the entire site to the right hand side, opening up that left hand sidebar. So that's what we did to clone Kajabi. Basically, if you wanted to clone any of these other sites, it's pretty much exactly the same. And I will probably be uh, building a template for every one of these um, as time goes on as we progress through the course. So right now then I want to jump into how did we actually build this out.